Hi there, just back from my morning run, just listen to the birds tweeting in the background. First thing in the morning, as the sun's just about to come over the horizon, the best time of the day to get out and your run. But speaking of running, the IAAF has been back in the news lately, and all for absolutely the right reasons. I say the right reasons because this is the type of thing that needed to come out. Uh, courtesy of Daring Rider down in Australia, um, a month or two back, I saw the documentary on Lilia Shabakova, the uh, Russian marathon runner that got uh, busted for drugs, uh, for performance enhancing drugs recently. Uh, I'll post a link to that video that Duran Ryder posted um, down below in the description box. But ba basically, um, Lilia Shabakova had unusual blood passport um, data and was about to be um, pinged for uh, for a doping violation because of the, the because of her biological passport. But she really wanted to run the 2012 Olympic Games. So surprise, surprise, via the Russian Athletics Federation, a bribe was organized to the IAAF to be able to swear um, Lily Shabakova was effectively asked, well, if you want to be able to run in the uh, 2012 Olympic Games, it's going to cost you I think it was somewhere in the region of 400,000 euros, which is, what, about half a million dollars. But, and when that story broke, I was just thinking, well, there has to be more in the, behind this. There has to be more in the background. And lo and behold, this past week and the second part of the, uh, the debacle came to light. And that is the... Uh, I might be pronouncing his name wrong, uh, apologies if I do that, but the former IAAF president, uh, Lamin Duck, has reportedly uh, admitted to the French police during their investigation that he asked Russian, uh, the Russian Athletics Federation for 1.5 million euros, that's about 1.6 million dollars, to help him with his election campaign to become IAAF president. In return, the IAAF president would assist in the cover-up of the pos positive drug tests by Russian athletes. So, the bribes that the Russian Federation, Athletic Federation was soliciting from Lily Shabakova was in fact going to the president of the, of the IAAF. So, in other words, the president of the IAAF was the central figure in the midst of the doping cover-up. So then this just brings me back to another little insert, uh, another qu quotation, and I'll post the insert right now. Just a moment, listen to it. We're going to investigate. I do believe that they should have had representatives from the IAAF there if they were going to attack and besmirch the good work that the IAAF have carried out and have done in being at the forefront of the anti-doping movement across sports in trying to, to stamp out doping in being at the forefront of the anti-doping movement across sport. That's right, it's Paula Tienskons Radcliffe stating that the IAAF is at the forefront of doping controls across all sports. The IAAF has got the best doping control protocols out of all sports. Just listen to that again quickly. In being at the forefront of the anti-doping movement across sport. Don't you find that absolutely hilarious? Now isn't it interesting that Paula Radcliffe was also uh, the spokesperson, uh, supporter, drumming up support for Lord Sebastian Coe when he was um, running for IAAF president, successfully running for IAAF president now recently and, and um, uh, replacing Lion Deck and interesting that as soon as Sebastian Coe came in, Lilia Shobakova uh, was, was, got her, uh, her uh, ban for, for her uh, biological passport data and Paula Radcliffe that also had suspect biological data was given an exonerating report by the IAAF explaining why there were anomalies in Paula's biolog biological passport because after all we know that Lilia Shabakova ran three minutes slower than Paula Radcliffe's uh, world record on drugs, but Paula set the world record on Tienskons. There's no doubt 
in anybody's mind that there was, was anything funny going on there. But be that as it may. But the fact is that Shibakova has been pinged. Now the Russian Federation, to all intents and purposes, has been pinged. But there's been no IWF sanctioning against their former president, the one who was soliciting the bribes and the one that was uh, at the central point of the entire cover-up. Why, why would that be? Uh, could it be that there are other members of the IWF that are not wanting all of this to be investigated too closely uh, within the IWF? We'll have to wait and see. But as far as um, Sebastian Coe being at the, at the forefront of, of cleaning up athletics, uh, doping in athletics, somehow as a former world record holder and former super elite on the track, I don't know, it, it, just, it just rings too much like an Omerta to me, but uh, that's just my take on the matter. If you've got any, any comments, questions, criticisms on the matter, post those in the comment section down below. As I mentioned, Darren Ryder's video on the Lilia Shobakova affair, which includes an interview with Shobakova in German with English subtitles, that's linked down below. But post, post any comments or questions down below, hit that subscribe button down below, say subscribe to my channel for all the new content that comes at you every day every week, 365 days a year. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers. In being at the forefront of the anti-doping movement across sports.